Hi everybody, it's Debbie here and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thanks so much for clicking on this video and deciding to watch. And if you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for joining me today and supporting my YouTube channel. So today I have made this little bee scap here. Now I have it in the top layer of my three-tiered tray. This is my tray and I've decided I wanted to add it to the top for my spring decor and the cute little bees that are on there. Oh my gosh, they're so sweet. And uh, yeah, so this is my little bee scap. Um, stick around if you want to see how I made it. And yeah, so this one is... Um, I just want to show you this one is pretty hard it's solid I didn't make it on a form and then take the form out of it so that it would like I mean you can you can't collapse this or anything I did this one so it was nice and solid and the form is still on the inside so stick around I'll show you what I used for a form and um, yeah, so this is a trash to treasure video because it's made out of a piece of trash. So yeah, have I got your um, curiosity peaked enough yet? So yeah, let's get into the video. So today I'm going to show you what I can make out of this empty two liter Coke bottle. It's a plastic Coke bottle and some jute rope. So the only other thing that I'm going to use besides this is my scissors, my X-Acto knife and a black marker. So let's just hop right into this video and I'll show you what I'm going to do with this stuff better. So the first thing that I'm going to do with this Coke bottle is remove the label. And I'm just going to pull this off. Now it doesn't matter if there's some glue residue left on here or not. You're not going to see it. You just want the loose parts taken off. So let's put this in the garbage and make sure we have all of this loose bits and pieces off of here. Yeah. That's good. So that's all I need to do. And then you have to decide. So I'm going to cut this top part off first. So what I'm going to do is remove top of the bottle just about the place where it starts to come back up again um, I don't want the neck and the lid on here so I just want the top of this right up to where the curve is still coming in so don't put your blade out too far so there's these little I don't even know if you can see them on the camera there's these little ridges that go up the side um, so just about the top of those ridges is where I cut mine off and I can use those ridges as a guide to just go around the ball just like this it doesn't have to be a perfect cut or anything like that there I just want this shape is what I want to use the second part of this is now I have to decide how high I want my item to be. So I'm going to make a bee scap out of this. I'm going to use this for my form for my bee scap. So I'm actually going to go down to about a half inch above this rim. So there's that flat piece where the label was. This is the top one. This is the bottom one. And here it is. So I'm going to go about a half inch around from there. But this cut. I want this to be like decently straight. So I'm going to close that up and grab my scissors. And then I'm going to try to use my scissors to keep this decently straight by measuring just like a half of an inch up from there. 
I'm just trying to keep my scissors straight. There. So that's standing nice and straight. See? And then what I'm going to do is I've got my glue gun on the the low temperature setting because I do not want to burn every bit of my fingers. And I think I'll just set that little I've got one of these little Betty Crocker spatulas, the little tiny ones, and it comes in a little two-pack at Dollarama. So I've got one of those just in case. I'm going to take my twine and right at the very bottom edge here, I'm going to, first I'm going to open this up, put a little dab of glue in here. I'm gonna let this cool just a second, and then I'm gonna give it a little twist there. And then I'm gonna take my scissors. I don't think I have to actually, I think it's actually on a little bit of an angle right here. So there's enough of an angle. So I'm gonna take my plastic, um, what's left of my plastic pot bottle. I'm gonna put and this is why I want it on the low temp because I don't want to, I do not want to melt my whole plastic container. And I want to put this on the bottom edge like this. I'm just going to hold it there until it starts to take hold. Ugh. This glue gun has been plugged in too long. Now it is melting a little bit along the bottom edge. You just want to put a little wee bit of glue on here. And it's curling that bottom edge in a little wee bit. But that's okay. Because going up the rest of the plastic container, we are just going to glue our rope to our rope. I just want to get this first row around here really good. And the hardest part about this is starting it. Now it melts. I don't I can't show you because it's clear. The bottle's clear. But even on the low setting, it melts this just enough to kind of finish the edge. That's all it's doing. Whoops, should have used the spatula for that little bit. You can see there, see that little teeny weeny bit of melt? It just doesn't melt it much, it just rolls the edge. So be really careful. Do not use your hot glue gun, like a really hot glue gun on this stuff. It's a pretty thin plastic. I have my glue gun set on the low setting and it's still pretty warm. Get back. Ah, my, my rope doesn't want to stay back. See it to curl up a little wee bit right there? It takes a minute, but it does curl up a little bit. And once I have this bottom edge on here, the rest is going to be like easy. So 
So when I get to here, when I get to this part, I'm just going to take my glue up and I'm going to put it along the top edge of that next piece of jute as instead of on the bottle. So there. So it's glued. The rope is the rope is glued to the rope. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I'm going to take get it really close. Hold that rope back. I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it on the rope more than the bottle. So because the first row curled in a little bit, this row here is just barely going to sit on there. But once you have the second row on, it's going to sit on just nicely. So I'm going to go around here until I have two rows and then I'll come back and show you. Okay, so I've gone around two rows, so I can pretty much just start doing this. So I'm going to give myself some rope, and then I'll, I'll go around, and what I'm going to do is probably four times a row, I'll just put a little dot like that, just a little dot like that, and then go a little bit more, and I'll put another little dot, but I'm putting it right on that rope right on the rope. So I'm sticking the rope to the rope. And this shouldn't take me very long at all. And I'm going to go around and I'll show you what happens when I start getting to the top. Okay, so when you get to where the bottle starts to turn in at the top, your rope is going to naturally want to slide to the narrowest part of the bottle. So you're going to start taking your hot glue and running the thinnest bead. And remember, you want it on the rope. And then you're just going to tack it down like this. Just tack it down like this as you go. Um, you know, use something so you don't hit your um, fingers into that hot glue or whatever. But low temp setting, run the bead all around there and then just hold it and push it down like this. So just push it and then it won't roll up. So you're going to glue it to itself all the way along. Now for this B scap, I do not plan on taking the plastic bottle out. That's why I adhered it right to the bottom and why I didn't mind that that was going to roll in. And it does, when you heat it, it does roll in to the inside. So when this is sitting down, it's going to have a nice finished edge. So I'm going to go ahead and finish this up to here. Then I'll come back and show you what I have next. Okay, so I've gotten to the top and it's coming in. And this is where I've cut my bottle off. So now, and the reason for this is because we don't want it to come up like a bottle. We want it to come in until it's closed like this. So how I'm going to accomplish that is I'm going to put my hot glue on the inside of the rope, the rope that's there. Then I'm going to take the rope and I'm going to glue it to the inside and I'm just going to do it in, in little like inch long increments until that sets up. I'll hold it till it sets up and then I'll turn it a little more and I'll do the same thing. I'm going to put it on towards the inside just a little bit. It doesn't take a lot of hot glue so I'm going to just put that towards the inside. Just like that. Now I'm going to keep going around. It'll probably take me six rows or more around. And I can fill this in. And then I'll show you how I'm going to finish it off. So something that I found that helps is if if you take your rope and kind of twist it back closed as you're going around, it kind of wants to 
follow the inside a little bit better. So, and that's, that's just what I'm finding doing this. So put it on the inside and then take your rope, give it a little twist around and then kind of push it into the glue, just like that. And then just hold it for a minute. Don't pull on it. I mean, it'll sit there, but don't pull on it. Don't pull on this until that's set up enough to grab. So I'm going to continue that until I have my top closed in. Okay, so I've got to where I've got this. I can mean I can barely put my finger in the hole here. I just get it in there. So I'm not going to be able to get too many more runs around. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to turn this on its side and I'm going to take another piece of jute rope. I am going to open this up like this a little bit. Then I'm going to put some hot glue on here but I'm going to let it cool down for just a second. I want it to be a little bit cool. Then I'm going to just stick it anywhere on the inside here and hold it down. Just just stick it down like that. So then I'm going to take this I'm putting it up through the top here. So it goes up like that. I'm going to make myself a little loop. This is the one I'm winding around. I'm going to make myself a little loop here at the top. I am going to cut this off right here like that. Then I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to take this. I'm going to splay it open a little bit. I'm going to put some hot glue on it, nice, you know, a nice little amount, but I'm going to let it cool down. I do not want it to um, bend and warp the shape of the pop bottle. So I'm just going to let it cool down a bit first so that it doesn't melt my pop bottle. Then I'm going to take this, I'm just going to set it in here like that, and I'm going to stick it down. There, so I have my loop at the top and it comes up like this high. Now that's fine if you want it to be a little bit um, shorter than that. You can always tell and you know, whatever you want. So I'm going to finish this up and this is, might get a little bit tricky because I have to hold this out of the way. I am going to go around here with my little bit of glue and I go about... Or maybe two or three twists on that rope and that is it then I'm going to take the piece I'm winding around twist it and then it'll go down in there really easily hold it till it dries I can't even put my finger in there anymore and I'm going to do that again this time I may actually put the glue on here because it's a little hard now getting it in there. So put a little glue on there and get it in there just like that. Just like that. So we just now we just want to fill this in basically. Put a little glue, twist and push it in there. I think there might be enough room for one more twist, for one more little twist. So let's twist this. That's the part that's going to go in there. Just a little like that. Hang on to the twist. Whoops. And try to get this right down in here. And then all you're going to do is cut this off just like this. Okay. Now I'm going to take this and using, I'm just going to use this, but I'm not putting the blade out. I'm just going to tuck this 
right down in here, like that. Just to tuck it in. I can reach in there and pull it down from the inside. So my B scap is all closed up and it has a top. So I have a B scap. Basically, I have a B scap. I'm not finished yet. So the heat, ha I mean, it hasn't bubbled and warped it out of shape, but it has made it more of an oval instead of a perfect circle. So I'm just looking for my front, what I want my front to be, and I think I want it to be this side right here. I have my loop, and I'm going to set that right there. So I need to make the door for the bees to go in. So in my case, just handy here, I have this. It's just a, um, a Dollar Tree hand cream. So, I am going to use the shape of the lid and what I'm going to around the shape. So, I've just wrapped it around the lid. I'm going to put a little bit of hot glue here, like this, and here. So, I have my size. I have my size. Yeah, that's a good size. So, I'm just going to use that. Now, I'm just going to go... around here like this and I'm going to make it two so all I'm going to do is put some hot glue on this edge and I'm going to make a doorway with this so so simple so so simple And right about here is where it's going to end. So I'm going to give that a little nip. I'm going to hot glue it down. Make sure I got some hot glue in there so that it doesn't unravel. I'm going to let that cool for just one second so that I can use my fingers on it. There. So I have my little doorway. And I'm going to go all the way around, just like that, and I'm going to put it right on the front of this, right about here. Just like that. Okay, and this is where the black marker comes in. So let's turn this up a little wee bit again. I'm just trying to get, I know that I, I'm out of frame a lot. <laughs> it's my bad, um, it's the bad habit that I'm trying to get out of. So I've been trying to turn things so that you can see them. So now this needs to look like a hole and I'm not going to cut it out. I'm going to use my marker and that's, that's what I'm going to use it for there. So I'm just going to color this in. Just going to color it in. So there. I have that. Now... So if anybody's been following me for a while now, you remember a um, a gift box that I got from Robin at work a while back. And it contained this little glass jar with this cork and it's got these little erasers in it. Come on out. These little erasers are so darn cute. They have little bees and these little beehives. So I'm going to use a few of them on here. I think they're going to be so stinking cute. 
So I'm going to put one right up here. And the really nice thing about these is that you can see them from both sides. So yeah, right up there. I need one on the doorway or maybe two on the doorway. So I'm going to put one on the top of the doorway like this. And I think I'm going to put one right in the doorway. So maybe... Which way do I want it to go? I want it to go that way. So I'm going to put, I'm going to put the glue on the bottom here. And I'm going to put this right in here like this. But I think this is absolutely the perfect, perfect spot for them. So thank you, Robin. Thank you, thank you. These are absolutely perfect, absolutely perfect. And I need another one right up here at the top. A little higher. And what about these little um, beehives? So I think, yeah, I think they can go on here too. Actually, I don't think so. I think I'm going to keep them for maybe for something else. But yeah, so this is my little bee scap. And this is going to be perfect um, either in my coffee bar or my three-tiered tray or someplace like that when I have it all set up for summer. Um, it's just absolutely, oh, this could stay up for spring, summer, and fall. This is one of those pieces. These little B erasers are the absolute perfect addition to this. And yeah, so just let me know what you think down below. And um, don't forget to share if you know somebody that needs a little inspiration or would like to do this project. And I will see you all in the next video. Bye bye for now, everybody. Stay safe and have a wonderful day.